channel. My name is Audrey. I'm 20 years old and I am on the autistic spectrum. So before I get started, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my lovely videos. Let's get on with today's video. So today's video, we are going to talk about my updated diet. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know, you know I went to Mayo Clinic in July and before I did, I said I was going and I talked about the possibility my neurologist said possibility I had intellectual disability. So I'm going to talk about how I feel about all of it. So when I heard that that would mean like, I don't have that, that's not a thing. I'm super smart. You're wrong. Obviously, she was right. Um, but I'm super smart, but I'm smart. I'm able to do all these things. I'm able to train my dog for well and understand it. And I'm able to do all these different tasks that require intelligence and require someone to be able to process and learn at a higher level. So then I go to the Mayo Clinic. I do all the things and I saw I had a neuroscience evaluation. And after the neuroscience, evaluation after they got that I got that the last day I was there that my mom had a call with the neuroscience psychologist and I was diagnosed with disability and at first I'm dumb because if you watch that in my videos when the doctor said it was a possibility I'm like I'm super smart I'm not dumb and I always thought that was very ableist but it is disappointing, but I also understand it doesn't mean I'm not smart because I am smart. So for me personally, the way, the reason why I have intellectual disability is the reason. So if you just look at my basic IQ, I have an average intelligence. But if you look at the full spectrum IQ, which has to do with not only like you're smart, like how you function, um, just everything, it's low. I have trouble processing my memory that kind of stuff is low, which is why I have intellectual disability, which if you look at me, how I walk, how I not walk, how I talk, I talk like an average 20 year old. I, I discuss and do everything verbally like right there to film and it doesn't have to do with that. So it really has to do with the processing and which makes a lot of sense in how my life has gone because if i look at other autistic people a lot of them are super smart and go to college and are able to do and i think a lot of autistic people are super highly intelligent i think it's very common i think they're very smart and because our brain our brain works differently i think we have a able to learn differently which gives us certain gifts so it makes a lot of sense the reason i've struggled a lot in school and really stopped learning at a certain point i always get up to big basic like I could do basic multiplication but after a little after that I really struggled reading I really struggled which if when I did the neuropsych evaluation apparently I was at high school reading level I personally think it's wrong because well they let me read, read it over and over so I was able to read it over and over and comprehend it so I personally think it may be wrong but who knows apparently I'm not dyslexic like why do I have such tr trouble reading but I guess it's the intellectual disability so that first so I was really disappointed and I still am a little down about it because like I know I have a really hard time processing things and I w always wanted to be a youtuber ever since I was about 12 I really wanted to do this and I still want to do this but if you know I have a dog named Rosie who is going to be my service dog and when I adopted her a few months later she started de developing a lot of behavior issues which required me to hire a trainer and I started training her and I fell in love with dog training and animal behavior and I found it super fascinating and I absolutely love it and it makes me want to do it professionally but now that I know this I wonder if am I capable of doing this because I need a lot of breaks because throughout the day because because it takes me a really long time to process things. So I need a lot of breaks and need like an hour or two off, an hour, like 15 minutes on, 30 minutes on of work, however, maybe an hour. And then I need a few hour break. And so it makes everything super hard. And I had a really hard time learning new things. And it makes things super hard for me to process because of the intellectual disability. And obviously there is dog training. And I know myself and I don't necessarily think doing like a book based program or something or a program that's not educationally is not working with a trainer hands-on and having discussions and doing that I don't think I would thrive on that I think I would do really well having an apprenticeship and my doctors agree I did talk about them and they do agree with that and they do think that that would be the best decision for me but like I wonder if 
someone would be willing to take the time to let me be their apprentice and let them learn, I would obviously start as an intern. Personally, that's what I would want to do and start unpaid and just start watching and learning. But would someone be willing to take me on? Because I'm not like the average wanting to be a dog trainer. I would take a lot more time to learn and process and become a dog trainer in the way it really needs to be because I think there needs to be reg regulations and I think people need to be educated because there's a lot of people who say they're a dog trainer when they don't know what they're talking about and they're actually causing a lot of harm to animals and I never want to do that and I never want to give advice to pet parents when I know very little and I know some of you guys do look for me to dog training advice and I admire that you guys think that I know enough but I know very little and it, I want to share what I know but I also know I could cause harm to animals because I'm brand new to this and I know very little and there's so much that I want to learn and I want to learn everything I need to know but I know it will take longer for me and I know that not everybody's my mom and really wants me to who is willing to take time and teach me and learn and take the extra mile the extra miles that it takes me to learn successfully but I know I could be a great dog I know I have something that other dog trainers don't have because of my individual disabilities like I think there's a lot of neurodivergent um, dog trainers I actually think it's very common for dog trainers to be neurodivergent so I think there's probably a few autistic dogs trainers but I don't know if there's many with intellectual disability and so I think I definitely have something different that I could give but I question now if I'm capable of it I know I am if I put it in the work and I know I can do it but I question if someone else would be willing to teach me and that's something I struggle with but I think if I found the right person and I found and I talked to them I think and they heard what I had to say and they heard my willingness to learn and I know I have something that I could give to, that other people can't as I said so I think once I learned I'd be really great at it but everything like I want to do now like anything that I struggle with am I going to be able to process and do these things now that I know is my life going to look different and I've been living obviously with this and so I've been able to come this far so I know I'm capable of it but I'm also processing something totally new of a disability I had no idea and was never something I really had any idea so it's brand new and I'm kind of sad but I'm also really happy because it makes a lot of sense everything I struggle with and everything I go through and the idea of sometimes the littlest tasks are so hard for me to do and it's absolutely exhaust. It makes so much more sense because of the way I process and look to the world differently. And that makes me really happy and that's super positive and I love that I know and I love that I know how I'm going to be able to set myself up to success. 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 And have a successful life. But there's always some downsides. But I also think this is something really. I'm glad I know, and I really look forward to the future of this. And obviously, now that I know this, I have the ability to get more services. And we're working on getting these services, which is a really positive thing, and I'm really happy about that. So that's super interesting. So that is my updated diagnostic and how I feel. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my lovely videos. Bye guys. I will see you guys next week. Have an amazing day.